I'm diving deep into Taplio, the AI-powered LinkedIn automation game changer. So if you want to know more how to turbocharge your posts, ace your scheduling, and unlock the secrets to trending content, stick around because I've got the full scoop. So what is Taplio? Like I said, Taplio is just an automated AI content engine that's going to help you leveraging AI to grow on LinkedIn. Now let's take a quick look at the pricing and features that Taplio offers. You're not going to do the starter. You could do that with Buffer. Total waste of time. Now the standard is what I'm doing right now. It's $52 a month. It says build yearly, but it's actually built monthly. And this is where the bread and butter is. So you've got this AI powered content assistant and chat assistant. And this is for pros. This is like for agencies and things like that. Uh, I don't see you using this. So it's going to cost you $52 a month to actually get anything that's useful in this product. And if you scroll down, you'll see they got an FAQ down here. So next, I'm going to show you the inside of Taplio. Oh, I picked a lot of topics that have to do with that. It doesn't mean that all these are going to be that, but that is what it is. And this is just from the AI engine, okay? So you get all these different posts here, and you can see they're backdated. They're older posts, but they did really well, and that's the whole point. You're trying to take content from other people that did really well and make it your own. Everything starts to the left, so the left over here, and then you work it in the middle, and it eventually gets over to the right. So if I was to take something like this, oh yeah, I really like this. I could hover over these things, favorite, use AI. I could go ahead and save it or translate it or copy and paste it. And if I click edit and post, you'll see this is where it cuts off on the see more. So when you look at LinkedIn, it's going to cut off here and people would have to click to read more. So this is sort of your hook up here. And now you've got the content. It's saying it's too similar. So what you'd have to do is start to rewrite this, add in images, whatever you want to do to write this. You've also got a selection here where you can improve your post with AI and you have a whole bunch of options to do that for this post. And you can post it with your own company page or yourself. You've got advanced options. And I was going to save this to later, but I'm going to go over it right now. So you can remove URLs and previews. Auto plug is kind of cool. After five minutes, it's going to, if you wanted to create a plug, do something. So after I post this, it might have me make the first comment is what it's basically saying. And you can publish it on Twitter. Of course, you'd have to have a Tweet Hunter account and auto DM if you wanted to DM somebody. And again, you could improve your posts even right here with AI or put things in here if you wanted to do that. So everything again goes from left to the middle to the right. So that's your that's your post inspirations. Now, if we look at my queue, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you don't like this video, please like and subscribe. So let's take a look. This is what the queue is coming up. So as you can see, it's scheduling. You can schedule posts many times a day all the way out to Timbuktu. And that's the whole point of this is you're generating constant content and you're scheduling it out. You can look at your published posts. You can open on LinkedIn. You can look at your statistics, see how many people, you know, dealt with this. Obviously, this was a winner. And then you've got your different settings that you had. So here's again, here's what it is. And then here's your hook. As you can see where it says read more limit. This is what was in here with all the emojis and a link to the piece of content. So you can look at your published stuff. And then you've also got drafts if you saved anything. So that's your queue. As far as your stats go, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Since I started using this, this is basically what it's doing. Previous period, it's down because I wasn't posting, Whatever. obviously. You can see your follower gain in a line or a bar chart. So maybe when since you started or further back, this is 90 days, how far, how many new followers you're getting it during this time. Posts that generated the most. So you're getting a lot of stats on your posts and your views and engagements, what's working, what's not working, so that you could go back and actually redo that content if you wanted to. So that's your stats. A collaboration is in beta, but that's like basically collaborating with other people. And they would have to have a Taplio account, I believe, as well. Your AI generators. I mean, this is really where it is, right? This is this is it. Generated for you, post generator hook, carousel, and repurpose. So generated for you is basically what we saw initially when you first came in. They're writing content for me. And that's going to be content that's actually generated for me that I would be able to use and post because it would just be generated by ChatGPT. If you look at the post generator, it's going to suggest a topic or you can provide a general idea. And how many variants do you want to suggest? One or two. You can change the post tags, meaning 
this is how this post is going to be emoji free. It's going to be assertive, contrarian, and maybe one of these structured for promotional posts. And if you hover over, it literally will tell you everything about what it's going to be doing here. So that's if you want to create a post. The hook generator is what is your post about? And then you're going to generate a hook. So an eye catching hook. Again, that's that piece that was above that you saw read more. That's the hook. Carousel generator, you can do it from a URL. You can do it from YouTube. You could do it from AI. And you're going to either edit your own content and your subtitles and drag and drop your own images. And you're going to see your slides down here. Download as a PDF. Here's one of the carousels that I did. So if I open it, this is what a carousel is. So I gave it a, a title. I gave it a subtitle. I didn't put any images in it. I did do some font sizes, uh, used my headshot, I changed the theme, you know, these color palettes that you might want to change right here. You could preview your carousel, meaning this is what a carousel is. So when it goes on LinkedIn, you're, you're actually clicking through the next, next, next. This is what you're seeing. That's what a carousel is. And you can create carousels and you can share those on LinkedIn as well. And then you can repurpose content, which is kind of new. So you've got article or YouTube. And if you do YouTube, it's basically saying it wants something that's less than 15 minutes long, but it's voice intensive because it's going to read the transcript. So you've got an article and you've got LinkedIn and that's repurposing content into posts and it will generate it. Then you'll see it over here on the right hand side and you can use that. Viral content, pretty self-explanatory. Basically posts that do well based on your niche or your keywords that you're using and you can go ahead and rework those posts or copy. you wouldn't want to straight copy them, but you would be able to rework them, edit them. If it worked for somebody else, maybe it's going to work for you. That's sort of the theory here. So here's some post inspirations and these may not work for me, but you can go through them. And if you actually say, wow, this person got a lot of engagement on data security. Wow, wow that's really great. Edit and post. It puts straight over here. It's just copying it and it's saying it's too similar, which it is because it's copying it. But you could change these things, right? You could change DLP to DLZ, whatever, and you change the disclaimer, change your hashtags, whatever. It's just giving you an idea that worked for somebody else, and now you can rework it into your own. You could save it as a draft. You could schedule it. You could send it. You could do whatever you want. You could add it to your queue. You could post next. You can assign a label. And again, you have all these advanced options. But that's what it is. It's, if it worked for somebody else, maybe it'll work for you. That's the theory. You've got search mode. So you've got a search mode over here. And this is basically we're going to search for things in our industry or find Volvo posts that get inspired by. And you optimize it for your account. You've got industry news. I do actually like this feature. This is basically going off your personalized feed. And it's looking for things that are within your industry. And so you'd be able to actually grab some of those things and rework them that might be pertinent to you. So if you're trying to build your network on LinkedIn and you want to be an expert in your field, maybe these are things that you could talk about. So you can disagree, you can agree, you can edit and post. Either way, it's going to rewrite this if you agree or disagree and put it over in the sidebar here. And if you just edit and post, it's just going to take it straight here, which is obviously going to be very similar. And you could add in your own comments here and then add it to your queue. So you're taking a story with its own hook and then you're adding in some information here that you want. Or again, you can let AI help you do that. You can totally change it. You can have copywriting tips, make it formal, fix grammar, create a better hook, create a call to action, all things. So every post is going to have a lot of AI stuff in it. And that's exactly what Taplio is about, is automating, scheduling and using AI to build up your LinkedIn network as quickly as possible. So you've got all these different things and these change about daily and you've got any saved content. If you saved any posts or any staff picks, of course, I don't have any staff because I'm working by myself, but maybe these are by, you know, curated by professional marketers, updated daily, you know, pick a category. Okay. You've got contacts. So these are people who have liked your contacts and you can create lists on that and you can push them out to Lemist, which is again, another service that you could potentially use over here start conversations, get replies. You can export it as a CSV. And this is the people who've liked my posts or maybe commented on my posts, right? Or you can create a new list and you can take these people out and put them in different lists. And this is how you work with your contacts. Outreach is sending DMs in bulk to different people and they'll give you some information on how to do that and some tips and your history if you want to send direct messages to people. 
So engage is cool because it's going to find 50 posts to engage with and the other Taplio users. So you can either write something here or again, everything is AI based. All these things are different AI things. You're going to reply to this person's post to get engagement, to start talking to people, to add con add value to their content. So these may or may not be related to you. These are just things, other Taplio users that it's decided it's best for you. Or you can reply to comments. So here you're replying to different comments. I posted something, someone replied and posted to me, and then I can write back to them. So these are different comments that you could go ahead and reply to. And then people and organization. And this is your account settings where you can take a look at what you've got going on in your account. This is your search keywords that you're gonna have here, and your personal description and your main topics, and whether you're gonna use AI to get a little more wild or more conservative, and this is how it's gonna pick up on the stories by you adding in different keywords, and whether you're gonna use GPT-4 or 3, Four is slower but better, usually. GPT 3.5 is faster and takes less credits. And of course, you can share your account and you could delete your account in the danger zone. So that's Taplio. I think at this point, you should have a pretty good idea of what it can do, how much it's going to cost you, and if it's going to be worth it for you to pay for this service to automate your postings and scheduling on LinkedIn.